The Louisville, Kentucky, mayor who banned drive-in services reversed his decision after a Kentucky church was targeted by vandals over the weekend. Mayor Greg Fisher and On Fire Christian Church announced Tuesday that a deal had been reached. We are grateful to Mayor Fisher and Louisville city officials who worked with us to ensure their policies are both consistent with the Constitution and the CDC's guidelines, Roger Byron, First Liberty lawyer representing the church, said in a statement to Fox News. When Fisher announced the ban ahead of Easter Sunday, Hay encouraged citizens to report any churches violating the order to the city's 311 number. But days later, a federal judge ruled in favor of On Fire, stating the mayor violated the Free Exercise Clause in the First Amendment of the Constitution, beyond all question. The church, represented by First Liberty Institute, Wilmer Haleon Swansburg Smith, PLLC, has been holding services in its parking lot, directing cars to be six feet apart as the pastor preaches over loudspeaker and radio. After Sunday's service, when the On Fire congregation was met with nails at the entrances and exits of the church parking lot, the services are now supported by Fisher. The members of On Fire Christian Church are resaddened by this crime. We hope the agreement will end the violence against the church, Roger Byron, First Liberty lawyer, said in a statement to Fox News. Matthew Martins, partner at Wilmer Hale, said they are pleased with the mayor's move. Like everyone, On Fire Christian Church looks forward to the day when they can meet together in person again without being restricted to their cars, Martin said. In a similar case, three churches in New York sent a letter to their county on Wednesday asking officials to reverse a drive-in services ban. Several other cases popped up in recent weeks in Greenville, Miss, Frisco, Texas and McKinney, Texas.